And I'll explain uh, in a couple seconds here why why that finally allows us to mention this whole thing. Secondly, um, there's an article in the newspaper today on those guys and uh, a new job that they have. And thirdly, today was a day that we had attempted to give those guys a chance to come on the radio station and come on my show and say goodbye to everybody here at AAF. And that was the climb. And I wanted to, to mention that and let you know about that. So I thought it was a good opportunity this morning to maybe clear some stuff up here about what happened with the Opie and Anthony thing because you who listen to this radio station are very important to us. And basically, we who work here got screwed by this whole situation just as badly as, as uh, you. So I thought that I would, I would try to clear them, some things up and maybe make it a little bit clearer to you. Uh, what happened with those guys leaving the station since I've gotten, I've gotten a lot of email about it and a lot of phone calls and people are, are still kind of interested in it. So, so uh, basically, you know the story up until a certain point, and that was when we weren't allowed to talk about it anymore, but you know that on, uh, on April 1st, those guys did the, the Mayor Menino stunt, which um, probably in hindsight they would tell you that they didn't necessarily uh, think it was the greatest thing to have done, but... You know, whether or not they should have been fired for that or not, I, you know, you probably have an opinion, uh, just like we all do here. I, you know, I don't think they should have been fired for that. I think they should have been suspended or something like that. Um, uh, everybody has an opinion on it. Um, and probably if you're listening right now, you have your own opinion on it. And, and that's, that's great. Everybody should have an opinion on everything. So, um, then at the time, it was very confusing about what, what companies owned this radio station. American Radio Systems was the company that owned WAAF and about 100 other radio stations around the U.S. Last summer, they sold all their stations, 100-some-odd radio stations, to CBS. Okay? CBS owns a lot of radio stations in Boston, including WBCN and uh, some other radio stations. That deal had to be approved by the FCC and by the Justice Department because it would give CBS a lot of radio stations around the country, and, and the Justice Department is, and, and I think correctly so, is concerned about one one company owning tons of radio stations and being able to control everything. You know, one company, let's say it's owned by a Democrat, they could say to everybody on the air, I don't want you talking about anything negative about the Democrats or Bill Clinton mm -hmm. or anything, so that's wrong. So. This thing occurs with Opie and Anthony. CBS is basically in charge of our station until the till the deal is, is is done. And they see, in my mind, an opportunity to get rid of some guys who are doing a pretty good job along with everybody else at the station in uh, beating BCN. Okay, those guys consistently number one in the afternoon time slot beating the knob that they have on over there at that station. So, in my view, and in the view of a lot of people uh, in the industry who, who don't work here, a lot of people, I, I think, feel the same way, those guys did something which gave this company, CBS, an opportunity to get rid of them uh, as CBS was walking out the door here at AAF, okay? So, in other words, the Justice Department, I, I forgot to mention this, told CBS, look, you have to put four or five radio stations, one of which is WAAF, in a trust. You have to put them in a trust, and you have to find a buyer for those stations. So because they know we won't be part of CBS. Right. We will not be part of CBS. They know they're going to have to get rid of us. So here's an opportunity, in my view. Do something on your way out exactly. to, to change the station. Okay? To sabotage the station. Maybe. Maybe that's, maybe that's what it is. Okay? So, so that's all well and good. That's a done deal. Those guys are are no longer working here, okay? Now, we are told, those of us who are on the air, if you mention this, talk about it, do anything about it, you will be summarily fired immediately. And in my view, that doesn't do anything good either because, you know, they're going to fire me. They, they could care less who I am. They could care less who LB, Kevin, Chris, who anybody is. So let's not talk about it. Let's try to keep our jobs so that we can eventually talk about it. We can remain at the station that we love working at. Okay, we love working here. So... Well, I've got, um, some, I've got some pretty decent bills to be paid. Well, yeah, 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 I guess that's a part of it, too. Okay. You'll always be a sanitation worker yeah, or a sewage yeah, guy, yeah, though. Yeah, well, no absolutely. more Friday, Kevin. Yeah. Well, no more Friday. So, so that occurs... 
and we're not allowed to talk about it. So this past Friday, we go into this trust, okay, that was mandated by the Justice Department. At that point, we decided, and and, and uh, I and a lot of people here at the station have been talking to Opie and Anthony all along. At that point, we decided, hey, let's have Opie and Anthony on the station and give them an opportunity to say goodbye to their listeners. A lot of people who listen to them really like those guys. And it might be a great chance for them to clear up what what really happened so that uh, people understand where they're coming from and how this whole deal went down. That was denied by the lawyers at CBS. Because, Tell us why. Because Opie and Anthony now work for CBS at a radio station <laughs> in New York. Hmm. Okay? Now, they're going to work for, for WNEW in New York. And they're going to they're gonna be taking the afternoon job at, at a WNEW, which, you know in my mind, points out the hypocrisy of the whole thing because um, what is that supposed to mean? That what they did here was so awful, but yet CBS rehires them for a station right. in New York in two minutes? I mean, right. that shows you, I think, where CBS was coming from in this whole thing. I, I believe that's where, where, where it shows you where they're coming from. So uh, their lawyers said, no, you cannot have those guys on the air. We wanted to have them on today, in fact, to talk, to say goodbye and talk about what happened and we were denied that, that opportunity. So I thought uh, I would clear that up for you and let you know what we tried to do and what those guys wanted to do. Those guys wanted to say goodbye, and they wanted to uh, clear everything up and talk to everybody, but uh, they, they were not allowed to do that. But, but so. they had no desire to be fired twice right. in six months. Exactly. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> so anyway, there you go. In a nutshell, a, uh, a bit of an explanation, and if anybody has any questions, I'll certainly take phone calls on it, and maybe we can kind of... Um, start to uh, start to look forward to. I I think they're going to uh, be on the lookout for for something interesting in that time slot, and who knows what that'll end up being uh, in the afternoons. But we'll continue. We've had a lot of great people work here, uh, and there will be a lot of great people who continue to work here. And I think the station appreciates certainly everybody who listens and everybody who continues to hang in there with us. And we'll continue to hook you up with some good uh, some good programming. So there you go. That's uh, that's the way that goes. Why don't we do Metallica and we'll come back with LB and Sports and more here at AAF. Give me five, give me that,